Right, so we've heard from um, well, museums, cultural, we've heard from zoos, aquariums. Now we're going to talk commercial. And so it's Juliana Delaney, Chief Exec, Continuum. Juliana. Hello, I'm not so commercial that I'm going to charge you though to, uh, to listen, so don't worry. Um, just before everybody goes, I've been taking some time to look at that wonderful mural behind us. So if anybody uh, wants to take time to look at that um, whilst I'm just arranging my notes, um, it seems to say everything about uh, our leisure and, uh, and visitor experience. It's got absolutely everywhere on there, so uh, I'll attract your attention back towards me for a moment and then you can have a look at that afterwards. My chairman asked me um, to, uh, to talk about my career and my experience and the value that I've got from that, uh, that career and what I can pass on to, to you from that. Uh, let me get the thing first. Right. Uh, a little bit about me first. Um, I'm now lying about how long I've been involved in this industry, so let's say it's about 25 years. Could be longer, but let's say it's 25 years. And I began originally as a journalist, so I was being creative with words um, in the beginning. Then I moved on to uh, become involved in that project that uh, David Cam uh, mentioned, the Jorvik Viking Centre, which was a first, as David said. Uh, and then I went on to, uh, to take that Viking Centre idea of culture, but done in a popular way, and one which could make money as well as depend upon the state to fund it. And went on to launch many other uh, projects over the years, um, only those 15 years, did I say, of being involved, um, to, to develop a business which is uh, promoting and operating cultural visitor attractions which are commercial. Now I'm very privileged to, uh, to be being creative with projects, um, be involved in running a, a 40, well, no, it's 400 um, person company and a nine million pound turnover uh, business. So I've gone from being creative with words to being creative with projects uh, to being creative with money. But the last slide or the last point on that slide is actually the thing that I want to, to focus on because I think actually loving people and loving cake, you can see why I love cake, um, it's actually the most important thing about our experience economy. Because I would argue, um, in my six minutes, that it's not about buildings, it's not about technology. It's actually about the people that you employ and the people who work for you and the people who greet our guests. So why? Well, I've worked on a lot of very, very expensive building projects. Great building design. We've had some wonderful architects speak this morning. Um, are amazing and are inspiring. And they house some wonderful collections, some wonderful visitor attractions. Here are the ones that um, I'm involved in. But I just don't think that they deliver all of the experience. I've worked with lots of projects that have had fantastic technology in them, everything from rides to um, you know, virtual um, uh, interactives. And people love them and they're educational. But again, the lesson I've learned is that that alone doesn't give you the experience. I've been involved in, I don't know how many visitors you quoted, 60 million at Jorvik alone, um, many, many more over the years. And there is a great argument that puts the visitor first and says that that has to be the focus of all of our work if we're going to tell our, turn ourselves from being the cocoa or the, um, the coffee beans into the Starbucks experience. Put your visitors first. Well, actually, my experience is that the visitor alone in a building with technology doesn't create that experience as well as the interaction with human beings. So now I've turned myself into somebody who's creative with people and creative with the employees that work for me. Because secretly I'd quite like, still after those 10 years that I've been in this business, to be greeting every single one of those visitors that come through our doors every day. But I can't. I'm pretty good, but I'm not that superhuman. So I have to inspire the people who work for me to give that same fantastic service. So in all of the things that we do as a business, 
I don't recognise some of these images. They've been miraculously improved. Um, we turn everything into what we are as a branded business, and we're memory makers. We're storytellers. So I work now with my teams to look at what the guest experience has to deliver and what the people who work for me can do every day to make that guest experience fantastic. We have lots of these charts about raising expectations and turning things from just being functional, that coffee bean that David was talking about, into the Starbucks of the experience at the end of it. But I would argue that it is getting your people who work for you to deliver that. That's the most important thing. What I've proved um, as a business is that if you focus on the team in your business performance wheel, you actually deliver great guest experience, you deliver good performance, and you get growth as well. So in my remaining couple of minutes, what I just want to emphasize is that creativity can come in many shapes and forms. It can be buildings, it can be technology, and Britain has got the best architects, the best designers and users of technology for our experience. But actually, the one thing that we British, and we can be proud of this now, really excel in and we need to take out to the world and bring to you is our ability to be creative with the people who work for us and who work for you for it is truly them that deliver the experience at the end of the day and my secret is I feed them all lots of cake thank you